over 1.2 crore people. A city on the moon. A city where time is precious. A city where living costs are highest in the country. That's Mumbai for you. And what's been Mumbai's companion through all this hustle and bustle is the Vada Pao. According to some estimates, over 20 lakh vada paos are sold on a daily basis in Mumbai. And one man singularly is responsible for selling about 30,000 of those. Our winning warrior this week is a success story, but he has a very long way even if he wants to capture one-tenth of the daily vada pao economy in Mumbai. Jumbo King, a name as popular as the vada pao itself in Mumbai. It's the brainchild of Dheeraj Gupta who was so impressed by Burger King and McDonald's in the West that he couldn't help but adapt their business model to the Indian context. And being a Mumbaikar, the Vada Pao was arrived at as an obvious choice. Dheeraj launched Jumbo King in 2001 by investing 2 lakh rupees. Today his annual turnover stands at 12 crore rupees from his 36 stores, half of which are run by franchisees. The big idea is not just a more hygienic vada pao, it's also having outlets at the right, read, crowded locations. We accompanied Dheeraj to one such outlet in Mumbai's suburbs, strategically located next to the train station. Retail, it's all about location, location, location. So that's what we said, that we might have to pay really high rentals, but we'll only go to stores and locations where the footfalls are really high. Because we could have taken a location which may be three stores away, but we would probably end up doing half the business. So, you know, we are one of the highest payers of rent in Mumbai city. And uh, fortunately for us, we were looking at a format which was typically 200 to 400 square feet. So your bigger, modern retail players, they operate in the 1000 square feet kind of formats. So we weren't competing with them. The only guy we really compete with are the ATM guys, the bank ATMs, because they look for 200 square feet. And it isn't an ordinary Vada Pao that you get at Jumbo King. It's the Vada Pao with a perfect 3.25 inch bread, 16 grams of garlic sauce, 16 grams of onions. A perfect 2.75 inch patty inside, we decided to bite in. Isn't it interestingly, I'm holding a Vada Pao which doesn't look like a Vada Pao at all. It's almost like a packaged McDonald's Burger King uh, product. Why did you feel the need to make a Vada Pao fancy? It was, you know, uh, there's a huge need to do it in terms of product innovation because the customers are screaming and shouting for getting more variety coming into the product category. It's like, you know, you take it burgers. They all were the basic vanilla burger when it started. It's McDonald's which came along and got the filet of fish and you know the mac veggie and the double decker burgers and then you know someone else worked on the pizza and you have pizza hut and dominoes where the, you have a cheese burst pizza now was this the thought when you were launching because i'm looking at the germ of the idea really no it wasn't in fact at that time we used to just fight on a basic thing where people would say that only with vada pao you can't possibly pay the high rear and you know the rental cost for putting up a store in Bombay. You'll have to have a samosa, you'll have to have bajipa, you'll have to have chaat, you'll have to have other things. Because everyone around was doing that. But you know, we realized that you know America has got some of the greatest brands in the world because you know they have some people, you know, McDonald's did only burgers, they did not do pizza also. Pizza Hut did only pizzas. So they took one product and uh, you know figure out how they can make people have that product in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening and in the night. Was there also aversion or um, you know resistance uh, in the initial stages because people didn't really recognize this as a Vada Pao? A lot of the people, they saw this Jumbo King store which visibly looked far cleaner than the neighboring store mm -hmm. and this was how they got introduced to Vada Pao as it's a round bread with a patty mm -hmm. and onions in it which is wrapped. So. Uh, you know, you have this entire generation now that Jumbo King is 9 years old who know that Vada Pao is supposed to be this way and the other one is, is you know, the uh, probably the cheaper roadside version. And yes, we do have this problem with guys who are above 30 because they have come up eating Vada Pao from, uh, you know, some of the other side vendors. Uh, yeah. vendors. So they feel this is not Vada Pao. So that's when we focused our target and we said that fine. 
Fortunately, 50% of our population is below 25 years old. So let's get them in. So basically, Dheeraj's ability to recognize his evolving market and catch on with it has enabled Jumbo King to evolve as well. Do you think the positioning of Jumbo King has also changed now? We used to think, as everybody thinks that, you know, this is poor man's food and people who don't have money are going to have a what about. Then we spoke with the youths and asked them, you know, whether they like Jumbo King or whether they don't. They are like, you know, we like it, but you don't have any variety. It's just one basic 5 rupees, 6 rupees, 7 rupees product. Why don't you add cheese to it? So like, so you know, all those conceptions of, oh my God, the cheese slice alone is going to cost 10 bucks. So in a 6 rupee vada pav, how can you have a 10 rupee cheese slice? We introduced that and it did extremely well. So we introduced Shezwan and Chole targeted typically at the youth. The way our stores look, you know, you have a lot of youth around. Earlier it used to be like that. We are rebranding our stores now. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, from more from that, you know, very old style of product display, it came to more of attitude and aspirations. How important was it to go the franchisee way? Actually, initially we did a lot of aping McDonald's A to Z. So, because McDonald's was franchising, we started franchising. So, and of course, it, it uh, did bring in a lot of uh, investments into the company, we got in some great people who contributed and you know building the whole thing. So it was you know more like because McDonald's did it, therefore Jumbo King was doing it. So a lot of the initial things were like let's not reinvent the wheel. What is already working and has worked for another brand will work for us also. Foreign players like a McDonald's cutting down on their prices as well. Correct. So if on the menu here I'm looking at 15 rupees um, for a vada pav, there is a McDonald's burger for 20 rupees. Correct. How do you compete with that? Now it is at 25. Okay. <laughs> so we keep track of their pricing. <laughs> and see what you get over there at 25. I would say it's an excuse for a burger because it's a small product. It's not really, their actual product is at 45 bucks. What we are offering at 15 is a chole jumbo king. So it is, so you know, we always say that where we leave the market, our highest price product is at 25, chole with cheese, what we are having now. Yeah. And the McDonald's burger starts at 25. Even if McDonald's prices were competitive, Jumbo King locations would be hard to beat. But even Dheeraj didn't quite have a job start. After the break, we visit the Jumbo King factory. These are all major packets of what is going to get added. And find out how a failed venture actually made Dheeraj realize what works and what does not. There are certain projects which are unviable. That was unviable. Gupta founded Jumbo King in 2001 with an initial investment of 2 lakh rupees. Nine years later, Jumbo King has sold around 7 crore vada pavs in the city and the annual turnover stands at 12 crore rupees. We decided to visit that one place that literally brings in the flavor to Jumbo King, the central kitchen that supplies to the 36 Jumbo King outlets across Mumbai. These are the kettles where the potato gets boiled. There's no secret recipe, but uh, yes, uh, I can in fact, he's making a batch right now. He is going to make the masala, this is the oil and uh, these are all major packets of what is going to get added. This is all standardized. The preparations apart, we wanted to know how this kitchen delivers the Jumbo King promise of the hygienic vada pav. See, the basic idea is there should be minimum human touch to the product because the highest contamination happens if your bare hands are touching the food. So, like what you've seen is, you know, even the portioning, earlier it used to be done by the hand. Okay, we had to get in these machines to just ensure that we get an exact 42 gram patty which goes into every jumbo king. So, these machines, they ensure that happens. Okay, but you are running a franchisee model. I think half of your stores right now are uh, franchisees. Uh, and, you know, when this product reaches them, there is the flying...